Losing weight always comes down to eating less, and for the majority, it's usually the most difficult part. Different diets to suit different lifestyles are all the rage these days, but how many of us actually stick to them over the long term? Yeah, not a whole lot. The good thing about intermittent fasting is that it's not a diet at all. Diets restrict certain foods from your meal plans, and intermittent fasting only restricts the time period in which you can eat, making it a more sustainable approach to losing weight. This method of eating has grown so popular over the years that it's even become a common practice among celebrities such as Terry Crews and Jennifer Aniston. And if you've seen any movies with Terry Crews, then you understand how effective intermittent fasting can be on our bodies. In addition to celebrities, intermittent fasting is also practiced by some doctors such as Jason Fung who is an expert in intermittent fasting. So what exactly makes it one of the most reliable eating practices for losing weight? In today's video, we're going to break it all down from its origins, its misconceptions, what you can achieve with it, and the most popular methods of intermittent fasting being practiced today. And by the end, you'll understand exactly why intermittent fasting burns fat faster and for good. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to get notified of our latest video. Interestingly enough, there are no reports of who created intermittent fasting. However, different types of intermittent fasting have been popularized by different individuals. For instance, the 5-2 intermittent fasting pattern was popularized by Michael Mosley in Australia and the UK around 2012. On the other hand, the 16-8 intermittent fasting pattern was popularized by Martin Burkan of LeanGains.com. Now, when it comes to the misconceptions about intermittent fasting, the majority of negative comments are based on zero scientific research and through general assumptions. One of them is about the effectiveness of what you eat versus when you eat. Several scientific studies have shown that when one skips a particular meal, they might consume more at their next meal. However, it will not be enough to compensate for the meal you had skipped. This is a clear sign that the time you eat will significantly impact the amount of food you consume but will minimize calorie intake when practicing intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting helps reduce hunger hormones that tend to drive appetite and boost satiety hormones to promote fullness. The type of food you eat during this period will have an impact on your nutrient intake. Therefore, to maintain a healthy balance of vital nutrients, you will need to consume nutrient-dense food when breaking your fast. Starvation is another major misconception around intermittent fasting. However, this is never the case since fasting is a voluntary action where one avoids food intake for a selected period. Unlike intermittent fasting, starvation is where one does not have access to food or food is not available for an undetermined period without any control over the situation. When practicing intermittent fasting, your level of insulin in the blood is reduced significantly, which is a clear indication that you are receiving a constant energy supply from your fat stores and that you will not be starving yourself. Among starvation, there are general safety and health concerns with any non-traditional way of eating. Fortunately, comprehensive clinical studies have not shown any signs of health concerns amongst individuals practicing intermittent fasting. However, there are certain people who should not try intermittent fasting, which we will mention towards the end of the video. One common concern with intermittent fasting is that it deprives us of essential nutrients. However, this is simply not the case, and the real emphasis should be based on the type of food consumed at the end of the fasting period. When one consumes highly processed and nutrient-poor meals, they will face nutritional deficiencies whether they are practicing intermittent fasting or not. This means that you should consider consuming nutrient-dense and unprocessed meals to prevent yourself from any health concerns when breaking your fast. In order to understand how intermittent fasting burns fat faster, you'll need to understand two vital states, fasted state and the fed state. When digesting and absorbing food, your body is said to be in the fed state. The fed state usually starts when you consume your meal and within the last 3 to 5 hours when the body is digesting and absorbing the food you ate. During this state, it is hard for the body to burn fat due to high insulin levels in the body. After this particular period, the body will go into a state known as a post-absorbative state. During this state, your body will not be processing any meals. This period lasts for about 8 to 12 hours after having your last meal, after which you enter the fasted state. In the fasted state, it becomes relatively easy for the body to burn excess fat due to low insulin levels in the body. As a newbie, understanding how to incorporate intermittent fasting into your day-to-day -day routine is essential. To split your day or week into an eating and fasting period, you will need to consider the following intermittent fasting routines to help ease the whole process. 
The 5-2 intermittent fasting pattern is not an actual fast since it limits food intake for 2 days per week as opposed to abstaining from caloric intake completely. Usually, this form of intermittent fasting features a limit of 600 calories for men and 500 calories for women on the 2 days that you take off. This mode of fasting also discourages undertaking 2 consecutive fasting days. Therefore, if you have a tight schedule or your work involves intense energy requirements, the 5-2 intermittent fasting method will best suit your needs. The 16-8 intermittent fasting pattern is by far the most common type of intermittent fasting, and in this one, an individual needs to fast for 16 hours and have an 8-hour eating window. Also referred to as the Lean Gains model of fasting, the 16-8 model does not have an exact period to start 16 hours of fasting or 8 hours of eating period. Unlike the 5-2 intermittent fasting, the 16-8 fasting is carried out every day, making it relatively easy to incorporate in your everyday activity. The only downside of this practice is that you will have to cut a meal or two per day, making it challenging to practice among individuals with intense careers such as athletes. Next on our list is the Eat Stop Eat method. This is a unique form of intermittent fasting found by Brad Pillon, where one fasts for 24 hours twice per week and then eats responsibly on the other 5 days of the week. According to Brad, you can have 3 or even 20 meals a day as long as you keep in check your overall intake. In Eat Stop Eat, one breaks their fast after 24 hours and then continues fasting until the 48 hours are over to get back to your regular eating routine. Alternate Day Fasting, or ADF, is another commonly practiced intermittent fasting approach. The idea behind this form of fasting is that you fast on one day and eat the following day. This allows you to restrict what you consume half the time, and during this period, you are also allowed to have calorie-free beverages as much as you like. Lastly, we have the Warrior Diet. The Warrior Diet is a form of intermittent fasting that extends food intake with short windows of overeating. And by short window, we mean only a 4 hour window of eating with 20 hours of fasting. If you're looking to shred fat as fast as possible, check out our video on the top right of your screen on this intermittent fasting method where we go over everything you need to know before trying it. Now what can you realistically achieve if you start intermittent fasting? When practicing this eating method, you are guaranteed to benefit significantly, especially when it comes to weight loss. Unlike dieting, where calories are restricted, intermittent fasting does not affect the type of food you consume, allowing you to enjoy your favorite meal while benefiting from weight loss simultaneously. The best part of intermittent fasting is that you will lose weight within a short period, and with consistency, you will lose a significant amount of weight within 2-4 to four weeks. In addition to weight loss, there are several health benefits that intermittent fasting offers when you practice it consistently. For instance, intermittent fasting can help reduce your risk of cancer. In one 2016 study, research showed the combination of chemotherapy and fasting slowed the progression of skin and breast cancer. Obesity, which is a common issue in humans, is a major risk factor of cancer, and intermittent fasting has shown not only to reverse the progression of obesity, but also type 2 diabetes in mice. Various scientific studies have also shown that restricting caloric intake helps in enhancing your longevity. By reducing your caloric intake, you will be protecting your body against several health conditions such as heart attacks, stroke, and diabetes type 2. Intermittent fasting reduces insulin resistance and lowers low-density lipoprotein, often referred to as bad cholesterol. In turn, intermittent fasting will improve your longevity significantly. Now as I mentioned earlier, there are specific people who should not be trying intermittent fasting. This list of people includes diabetic individuals, individuals with high blood pressures, pregnant and breastfeeding mothers, individuals with any severe medical conditions, underweight people, and individuals under the age of 18. Before starting any new method of eating, it's always recommended to check in with a nutritionist to make sure that it's appropriate for you. If you're ready to start intermittent fasting, here are some quick tips to make it more effective. Make sure to stay hydrated, don't obsess over food, make every calorie count, eat high volumes of low calorie food, and always indulge in nutrient dense foods. So there you have it, why intermittent fasting burns faster and for good. Regardless of which method you choose to follow, the benefit is said to be the same irrespective of the type of intermittent fasting approach you take. Do you know anyone who has had a success doing intermittent fasting? Which method did they try? Share with us in the comment section below. And if you like today's topic, let us know by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Now, check out this related video to see more. Until next time.